welcome back to my channel um here we want to uh work on the uh, front elevation so we have completed the plan so now we want to draw the front elevation of the building um so what we need to do now is that we are going to project uh lines from uh each point that we have a bit let me explain that uh if we are looking at this uh building in this direction um uh, we are going to see the edge of this wall the edge of the wall here and come here we are going to see the edge of the wall but this is going to give us a column this is a column here so we are going to project line from here project line from here so for the column so it's a square column so we are going to project line from each of these points and also we also have a column here so we are going to project uh, lines from this point and this point here then we are going to see the edge of this wall here so we have to draw a vertical line and then we are going to see the edge of this wall and also the edge of the wall here so we are going to project vertical line from each of those points so if i'm starting from here but first of all i need to draw uh, the ground level line the ground level line so horizontal line like this so i'm going to write ground level here i'm going to write ground level here so this is it so I write ground level at this point, that is GL for ground level. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to project line from those points that I've shown you. So um, I will project a vertical line uh, from here down, like this, so thin continuous line. And also I will come here to draw a vertical line from here down. I will draw a vertical line from here down. So here I will come here and draw a vertical line from here. Draw a vertical line from here. So here I will also draw a vertical line down. So from this point here, so I will draw a vertical line. Also from here, I will draw a vertical line like this. So I'm coming here. So I will draw a vertical line. And also for the east projection, but before that, let me just leave that for now. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to get the floor level line. So the floor level line just take like um, one millimeter up for the floor level. So this is, so just let me take it to 1.5 so that it can be more feasible. So for the floor level, so we are going to draw horizontal line from here like this so let me bring it out so i'm going to write floor level here that is uh fl fl for the floor level okay so that's the floor level so the next thing that we are going to do is to come into the specifications so under the walls we are given the height of the walls that they said that floor to ceiling height is 3100 so 3,100 by 100 will give us 31. So from the floor level up, so take 31 millimeters. So 31 millimeters. So this is 31 millimeters. So here we draw. So here we draw horizontal line. So we draw horizontal line. So like this. So and then so I need to. So for, for the east projection, so which I've done already, so all I need to do is to uh, is to draw a vertical line from here. So I draw a vertical line from here, and I will also come to this side to draw a vertical line for the east projection. All right. So and the next thing that we are going to do is to come to the roof. So this type of roof given here is a flat roof. So it's a flat roof or parapet roof. So we have what we have. The thickness of the uh, concrete is 150, and the height of the parapet over the uh, concrete is 900. So we are making use of this 150 and 900. So um, so 150 by 100 will give us 1.5, and 900 by 100 will give us 9. And if we add the two together, 1.5 plus 9, that is 10 millimeter so what we need to do is to take a measurement of 10.5 that's 10.5 millimeters so 10.5 so we make it 11 millimeters so this is 11 millimeters here it's 11 millimeters so i will draw horizontal line so i draw horizontal line from here like this so draw horizontal line from here to here 
okay so for the roof so that's what we have there but i'm going to make the uh, lines that are supposed to be thick so this line is going to be a thick line so this will be a thick line to be a thick line and then um if i'm looking at this uh building if i'm looking at it in this direction so i'm going to see the edge here i'm going to see the edge up the roof so i'm going to see this edge and this edge so i'm going to make this line here a thick line so this will be a thick line very important you should be able to imagine how the building will look so this will also be a thick line here so this will be a thick line so i'll make this one a thick line here so this will be a thick line and coming to this end here this will be a thick line and then so this line this horizontal line will be a thick line this horizontal line will be a thick line and coming down here this will also be so this line will be a thick line okay then so for the part of the building so here so this line so this line is a thick line down here so this line is a thick line down here so and then so this line also will be a thick line this will be a thick line to the floor level okay so it will be a thick line down thick line down and then so coming here so this line is a thick line down here though we also have the column here so this line is also a thick line down like this okay so i want to make the ground level line i want to make it a thick line so that it will be more feasible all right so now so for what we have done here now so the next thing that we are going to do i want us to put the doors there i want us to put the doors there so to put the doors so and um, as we have here so first of all i want to project the line from the door so we need to draw a vertical line that's set in between them so we draw a vertical line down here like this we draw a vertical line down so then we come here so we draw a vertical line so we also come here we draw a vertical line so the height of the door is 2100 from the specification so uh, i don't need to show you that so it's best uh, 2100 from the specification so we need to take a measurement of 21 so when you divide 2100 by 1100 by 100 that will give us a uh, 21 so first of all i will take one millimeter up here then i will take 21 millimeters up so this is 21 millimeters then i'll put the frame so then i need to draw a horizontal line here so i draw a horizontal this horizontal line also i will draw it to this side for the windows so because the windows and the door they are at the same uh, eye the uh, the top are the same level so their tops are the same level so i need to draw like this okay then uh, i will come here so draw this horizontal line from here to here for the door so the next thing i'm going to do is to take one millimeter so one millimeter to the right side here and i will take one millimeter to the left side here so for the frame so that's what i'm trying to do here so and then so here i will take one millimeter so one millimeter here and then here i will also take one millimeter so for the uh this is the panel um as we are given in the specification and specifications all right so then
all right so all these lines are supposed to be made thick lines so they'll be thick lines so i'm going to make this line a thick line so this middle line will be a thick line from here down so this will be a thick line so this will be a thick line from here down so this will be a thick line from here to here okay so also so this will be a thick line this will be a thick line all right so i believe you can see what i am doing here so also i will make this a thick line from here to here so this will also be a thick line okay so and then so i'll make this a thick line okay so then i'll make this a thick line all right so then um so as we are told that it's a this type of the door so um the panel so glass uh glazed panel and a swinging door though we are not going to show that that is swinging so again so i just come to the middle here just come to the middle here so i will draw a horizontal line here from here to here also draw it here from here to here so come down a bit now we draw this from here to here and this from here to here all right so as you can see and the next thing to do is to show that this is a uh we have glass on this uh empty part so so i just okay so i'll do the same thing here then down here i will do the same thing So down here, also do the same thing here. All right, so that is the door. So um, I can just put something here like this as the opening for the opening. Okay, so that is for the um, doors. All right, the next thing I'm going to do here is to uh, draw the window. So I'm going to draw a vertical line from here down. Also a vertical line from here down. So draw a vertical line from here. I will come here and draw a vertical line. So and then, so here also I will draw a vertical line. So here... I draw a vertical line. So here I will draw a vertical line. And then, so come here. Okay. So part of this, part of this window is covered by the, by the beam. Part of it is covered by the beam. Okay. All right, so now, Okay, so then, so we also have a window here. So I'll project this down. I'll project this down. So the lines are so many, so I have to uh, look at it very well. So before I continue with the windows, so we need to work on the beam. So the beam that we have here, so we need to work on it. So we come to, so we have beam here. So beam, 225 by 225 and small concrete and with 2,750 above floor level, 2,750 above floor level. So 2,750 by 100 will give us, uh, it will give us 27.5. So from the floor level, we are going to take a measurement of 27.5 millimeters, 27.5 millimeters. So 27.5. So this is 27. So just let's make it. Um, so let's make it 20 so this is 27 we could just make it 27 so make it 27 millimeters so and 
the beam so it goes from here so um so i have the beam so it goes like this so from here from here to here and then it goes from uh, here so it goes from here to uh, i'm looking at the line okay so okay so it goes from here to here so this is the beam okay um okay so i need to there's a line here that i need to draw so there's one line here that i need to draw so that line that i was looking at so this line has to be there like this okay so then we have a column here so this column i need to draw it so for the for the beam so you can make it curve you can make it straight so i also have to draw the this line for the column here like this so you can make the column you can make it straight and you can make it a uh, curve so anyone that you like no problem so i need to draw so this line i need to make it thick so from here to here i need to make it a thick line and then um so for this part of the building so the this is this will be drawn with short dashes line so this will be drawn with sharp dashes line so it is hidden so the floor here is inside the main building okay so the floor here also is in the main building so i need to draw with short dashes line all right so we have all this in place so the next thing that we are going to do is to draw the uh the windows so you draw the windows so for the windows i just need to add some things to this which i've done before so all i need to do is to take one millimeter so one millimeter from here so also okay so i'll take one millimeter to this side so i'll do the same thing so let me complete this one so I pause the video and do the remaining one. Then I will come back and show you the result. So the height of the window is still 12 millimeters. So I will take 12 millimeters, 12 millimeters from here. Sorry, 12 millimeters from here down. So this is 12 millimeters. So I will draw a horizontal line. I'll draw a horizontal line like this. So we also have the windows here like this so and i will take one millimeter down for the frame one millimeter down for the frame so i'll draw a horizontal line so here i will draw a horizontal line here so and okay i need to extend this a bit then so i'm going to draw the vertical line for the frame here so yeah, I will do the same thing for the frame so I need to make this a thick line make this a thick line so this will be a thick line Okay, so then this horizontal line will be a thick line. So this will be a thick line. This will also be a thick line. And this will be a thick line. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to do here is to show that this is uh, a louver window. So what I need to do is to divide this space into a number of equal parts so that is 12 so 12 so let's take it as um as 2 2 so this is 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so here i will draw 
the horizontal line from here to here. So we are trying to show that this is a louver window. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, so we have shown that this is a lever window. So I will also do the same thing here. And for this small window that we have here, I will do the same thing. So when I'm done, I will come back and show you the results. All right, this is the front elevation as I have uh, done here. So, and then when you are done, so this part is lobby. So we write lobby there, and this, this is the plan. So um, all you need to do is to practice. When you practice, you surely master. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Keep on practicing and God bless you.